Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Aspiring Home Cook. It's been a long time since I've last uh, sat down and actually filmed a video. Like you can see, the surroundings are a little different and that's because I'm in my favorite place on earth. I'm in Goa, excited to be here. We decided to come spend Christmas with family. It was an absolute last minute decision. So while I had a whole Christmas schedule planned to share with you, uh, did not happen. And I truly, truly apologize for that. I know I've been, I've been, I've been missing out on a lot and you guys have been really patient with me. Um, but I'm really excited to be here. I've filmed lots of little snippets of us being around in Goa, trying different restaurants, sampling some amazing food while we've been here. Today I've got a slightly different video for you. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Goan sweet treats. Now there's a lot so I haven't picked up every single one of the goodies that we really enjoy but I've picked up a fair few. We usually shop at just the one place in Goa um, I'll share the name and the details with you in a bit. So I'll see you right back here when I've got everything laid out for you. Okay, so here I've got a little spread of a few things that we picked up from one of my favorite shops here. There's a lot of different places where you can actually pick up your Goan sweets or your Goan treats from. Now, for as long as I can remember, ever since I was really little, we used to go to this shop right in the middle of the Mapsa market called St. Francis Xavier's Bakery, if I'm not mistaken. If any of you remember when they used to do Goan sweets, leave me a comment and let me know. They had the best pinag. Their pinag had just a slight hint of ginger and um, for some reason since for a few years now they've stopped doing Christmas sweets. They only bake a variety of tea cakes and such. Ever since I met my husband Ashley, that was way 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 back when, a few decades now, um, we've started going to this shop. It's called Simonia Stores. That's what the box looks like. And that's what the that's what the signage on their shop looks like as well. Now these guys have a couple of different locations. They're on the highway at Porvori as well as in the flower market section in Mapsa. I'll see if I can find uh, both those addresses and I'll leave them in the description box below. That is my absolute favorite place to buy Go and Sweets now. Um, they've got all your usual sort of treats. The few that we've picked up are Dodol, Pinag and Dos. And of course, Bolinas. So to help us through the video, I've got a trusty big old mug of tea. And let's start. Which one should we start with? <laughs> I've got Ashley sitting here. So if you're wondering who I'm talking to, that's just him. Um, all right. The first one we're going to start with is Chana Dos. You get them in these beautiful little squares. You can compare them to, almost compare them to fudge. They're like a Goan equivalent of fudge. They're made of lentils. I've actually shared a recipe for Chana Dos on my channel. If you haven't seen that video yet, that will be linked in the description box as well. This is one of my favorite sweets. It tends to be slightly sweeter. You get two different options, one's the coconut variety and one is the chana variety. The coconut dos tends to be slightly sweeter and harder. The chana dos is a little more melt in your mouth and not as sweet. So today we've got the chana dos. Like you can see, it's got a beautiful tender consistency. Mm, that's what the inside looks like. frozen in his tracks. Anyway, it is absolutely delicious. I'd, I'd even say sometimes, depending on my mood, one of my favorites. Now, all the way up there, 
with my favorite sweets. Are these little goodies. Most folks have heard of the Goen Bibik and Todol, but Pinang, not many people have heard of it. Now, over this Christmas period, I've had the opportunity of trying Pinang from a few different places. Again, for me personally, nothing comes close to the quality, the texture, the taste, and flavor of the ones from this shop. This video is not sponsored in any way, it just happens to be my favorite. Now, if you have a shop that you absolutely love for treats like this, let me know where that is and I just might check it out as well. The Pinang. Now while it's not the same as the one from that we used to get from St. Francis Xavier Bakery, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a sweet made out of joggery with rice as well as a bit of coconut. And um, in the past I have seen my aunt make this when I was very little, but I've never had the opportunity to recreate this at home. Partly because we don't get Gua Joggery in Sydney, but maybe someday if I, get an, if I get an opportunity and if I get the time, I might look at trying it out while we're here. We'll see how that works though, don't hold me to it. This so is one of the very few places where I find that the Pinag is not extremely dry but it goes down really easy and really well and I personally cannot stop at one of these. For the sake of the video I'm going to and we'll move on to the next treat. Okay, this one we might have already dug into because who can say no to a little bit of dodol? Now, Dovol is one of those treats that's really popular. You've probably seen my cheats version on the channel. I've got a video with the recipe. I call it the cheats version only because it does not use Goen Joggery, which I don't have access to on a regular basis. But it uses regular Joggery or your Kolapuri Joggery and uh, a little bit of molasses. Turns out just as tasty. But if I had to choose, I'd obviously go for the real thing. It is almost a little, would you call it jelly-like? Slightly. Almost a slight jelly-like consistency, not quite there. It's soft and again, melt in your mouth. So it's not like a cake, more like a pudding of sorts, but that's set firm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. Again, joggery coconut. Most of these Goen sweets will have these two elements in at least one of these two elements. Yeah, it's like the Goen version of Turkish Delight. So, <laughs> without the rose flavoring and such. But yep, so, like I was saying, most of the Goen sweets have joggery. We'll either have joggery and coconut. Some of them will have both. And you'll find rice also appearing in a lot of treats. This one has a few nuts through it. I'll link the recipe that I shared to my channel down in the description box below if you want to check that one out as well. It turns out really nice. There you go, Ashley. That one's a piece for you. Silence across the board. That's when you know something's really tasty. One last treat we'll be trying out on the video for you. Our good old Bolinas. The packet is still sealed, so we're gonna try and get this opened out for you. <laughs> he just doesn't want to be in the video. I'm going to include him in any case. Okay. Here you go. These are what bolinas look like. They're little cookies and they're made out of um, semolina or rubber, coconut 
and uh, a few other things that go to make this really tasty. They're very close in flavor profile to bath, which is a coconut cake with I think one of the main differences being that the bath ha has a flavor of cardamom running through it. Um, this one does not. If you want to see my recipe for bath or the coconut cake, I'll leave that linked. This one I've not really managed to recreate at home yet. That's something that's on the list for sometime in the future. This one's a little... It's a bit crumbly. That's what the inside looks like. It's one of the best cookies you could have for tea. That's just my personal opinion anyway. So these are some of our favorite sweets, wouldn't you say? We do like a few more, but of course, because it's just the two of us at this point, we couldn't really justify picking up more than this. Would you like to see us do another video with the rest of these Goan treats? Let me know. And for those of you who are wondering whether this particular shop does only sweets, the answer is no. We picked out some cheese straws. This is the first time we've tried this and they're really quite tasty. It's a nice break from all of the sweet that tends to float around. They also have some really nice puffs when you're there. I think we tried the chicken ones and uh, they were one of the tastier ones we've had in Goa. So that was it. That's my favorite shop to buy Gwyn sweets from. So for me, if I were to rank them, my absolute favorite would have to be the Pinal. Followed closely by, hmm, maybe a tie between the Dodol and the Dos. And in next place would be the Bolinas. Let's see if Ashley has the same list. No. Then tell us what is your order of preference? So what were your what's your order of preference of the sweets? I would go with Dodol. First and then uh, Pinag and then Bolina. And those last? Yeah, probably those last. There you have it guys. You know which ones are our favorite now. Um, which one is your favorite from among these or is your favorite something that we've not featured before? I want to hear all about it. Do you? <laughs> it's always interesting to hear what you guys enjoy as well. Those of you who are not familiar with all of these Goan sweets, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Today's video was a little different. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, I'll see you really soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.